Hello everyone and welcome to another video here in the channel. Today we're going to go into how to create movies inside of Seaverse so that you can present them nicely on your social medias. Now this is one of those things that I don't recommend doing all the time, but every now and then it's, a, it's just a good way to do it. Now there's a couple of things that you need to prepare uh, for the trick that I'm going to be showing you right now. And the first of them is to make sure that you do have your undo history here. So this was a single session of uh, of sculpting. As you can see, I started like at 2.43 and I ended up like at 3. So it was like 17 minutes, 15, 20 minutes of, of just like free sculpting right here. And even I can keep going and, and adding a little bit more stuff. You can do this as much as you want. Just keep in mind that the longer you go, the, the longer that your undo history is going to be. And therefore the, the longer or the bigger your file can be and your movie can be. But in this case, I think 15 minutes for, for this quick sculpt is uh, looking nice. I went for this sort of like alien minotaur sort of thing. Um, so yeah, now the problem with this, or the way this works actually, it's very simple. The first thing is you're going to go all the way down to your first undo history. We're going to be using an option inside of the movie panels that allows us to record the forward history. That's why we need to have the history because otherwise it's difficult to, to keep this. You're going to go to the movie panels. I'm going to actually bring it up here. And uh, there's a couple of things that we need to change first. Um, by default, people are just going to go here and press forward history and you're going to create a movie. But there's a couple of things that you can do here to make this look even better. So let's say I want to use this for social media, right? If I want to do that, I need to go to the document and usually go for a vertical composition. So I'm going to remove the pro option. I'm going to set this to 1080 by 1920 and hit resize. I'm going to say, OK, and there we go. This is going to happen. That's perfectly normal. Control N, just draw one more time and press T. And there we go. Now, as you can see, the canvas is not showing me the full canvas of the element. So what I need to do is go to this buttons over here and go to the zoom and zoom this out until I see the full like rectangular thing. I'm going to turn off the, the grid or the floor right there. I'm going to go to document and I'm also going to change the color right here to a slightly darker color. The reason I like to go for a darker color is so that we get more contrast on the character. I'm going to go a little bit forward and let's say that this is the angle at which I want the character to be like captured, right? Like something like this right here. If that's going to be my final sort of like shot, my final composition, what I need to do is I need to go back to the beginning again and just press document so that it's only recording the document size, not the whole like ZBrush window, and then set this to large. By doing that and pressing F history, it's going to start calculating and recording the forward history into a movie. The problem is, and you can see it right here, is that it's trying to like capture the same sort of like uh, translation, rotation, and scale that I did when I was doing the character. So if I brought the camera out, it's gonna bring the camera out. If I went really close into the character and did some details, like it's gonna try to to optimize that process. And unfortunately, it's not something that's really helpful for what we're doing right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press ESC to cancel that movie. And very important, hit this delete button if you don't like the movie so that you can start from, from a clean slate. On the modifiers, this is where like the magic happens. On the modifiers, I'm going to change four things. I'm going to remove the H position, which is the position of the camera. So now the camera is not going to move. I'm going to remove the H size. So now the camera is not going to do any sort of like zoom in or zoom out. And I'm going to remove the H orientation. So now the camera is not going to rotate. So whatever I select as my main or my initial position for the camera, let's say this thing right here. If this is the position where my camera is at, everything's going to be recorded from this point. Another important thing is this spin cycles. We want to set this to zero because by default, while the camera is doing that of going in and out into the thing, it's actually also doing a like a turntable around the character. And that's not really what we want. So once we have this, another thing that I want you to change is here, the overlay image. As you can see, by default, we're going to have the Seabrush logo. I'm just going to bring this all the way down, but you can add your own if you want to. And then there's also the title image, and I'm going to change the fade in and the fade out time. Because otherwise, even though you're not seeing it here on the document, when you export the movie, you're going to get a fade in of the Seabrush logo. Again, if you want, you can change it for your own logo, and that's going to it's gonna look nice. Just remember that you usually want to have like a, some sort of like PNG or something, so you have transparency. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So now that we've changed the modifiers again on the H position, H size and H orientation, as well as the spin cycles, we can now go again here into the forward history again, starting from the very basic, press forward history. And as you can see, or you're about to see this thing, oh, wait a second. Oh yeah, oh, sorry, my bad. One more thing that we need to change is the spin frames. We're gonna change this to zero as well, or in this case one. So let's bring this back to the position. The Right around there. So as long as we can capture most of the stuff, there we go. Go back here. Again, delete the movie. We don't want to have any extra movies right there. And we record the forward history again. 
So now the camera should not move. It should remain completely still. Uh, no rotation, no scale, no anything. And we're going to be able to see like all of the transformation of the element. Right now, what it is doing, as you can see here on the H frames, is saving one frame every like four seconds or something like that, I believe. So that's another thing that you can change, like how many frames you want to save with the H frames that you see down here. But that's one of the things that I don't really like modify too much. If I need to make this a little bit shorter, which sometimes I need to do that, I usually do that in After Effects so that I don't have any issue. Now, the cool thing about this is once the forward history is finished, we can actually add another like sort of like movie on top of it, which is going to be the turntable. I'm going to add a turntable at the end so that we can appreciate the full, the, the, the complete character. And we can do this in the exact same file so that we don't have to export two different videos and then bring them together. As you can see, this is going to take about two minutes. Let me pause real quick and I'll be right back. So as you can see here, the video is about to finish and um, everything remained in the same frame. So absolutely nothing is changing here. One more thing that you can do, by the way, is if you go to the first frame and turn on BPR, it will render every single frame with BPR. It's going to take a long time. That's uh, one of the unfortunate parts of using BPR, but it's going to give you a very, very nice result, especially if you set up some extra couple of lights right here. But usually, again, this like short or, or quick... Um, Quick works are, are not something that you're going to be using to like create a portfolio or anything. Um, that, that will be like a completely different process. So there we go. Now you can see the movie. If you go here to movie and hit play movie, you're going to see the movie. Of course, right now I cannot see it in full because uh, the resolution of my screen is not matching the resolution of the video. I'm just seeing a section, but you can see how everything is in the same sort of like a place. Now what I can do here is again, if I go, let's say to a front view and I like get this very nice sort of like Frontal, we're not even gonna turn around perspective on this case. It's it's definitely gonna like deform things a little bit because the focal length that we're using is a little bit too extreme. We can go to document and no, not document. I always forget where this one, there we go, draw. If we go to draw and we go here to the focal length, I'm gonna increase the focal length a little bit to like 200 and that's gonna give me a, a little bit of a flatter look for the character with a little bit of perspective and I can do a turntable. So if I just click here on turntable, what's gonna happen is now, I should be. So to make sure that the turntable is working, you need to bring the spin cycles back to one. And then the spin frames is how long it's going to take to do the full turntable. As you can see, this one's going to be a little bit longer than what I would normally expect because I added too many spin frames on the on the spin frames elements, 536 frames. So it's going to be a little bit slow, but it's going to give us a nice result. So now again, we can play the movie. And if we see the full movie, what we should see is the full construction of the character as well as at the end, the, um, the turntable that we just recorded. Very important. If you're trying to play uh, or to turn on turntable and it's not working, that's because you probably have spin cycle set to zero because we did that at the beginning, remember? And, uh, and that's why it's not working. Once you're happy, just hit export. That's it. I'm just going to export this on the desktop for now. I'm going to call this Alien Sketch. It's going to do an APG uh, movie. It's going to go through the whole movie again. And once it's done, the movie is going to be there on your desktop. So that's pretty much it, my friends. That's the like the way in which you can record a still movie here instead of Seabrush to showcase all of your hard work and the creation of your character. And then bring this into a portfolio, into your social medias and share it with the world. Now, um, a couple of notes before we finish. As you guys know, if you want to learn more about Seabrush, we have a Seabrush course in our main uh, site. You can find the description down here. We also have uh, links to some of my equipment, such as the tablets that I'm using. I'm using a Huion tablet for all of my Seabrush work. And don't forget to join our Twitch channel and our Discord channel as well to follow all of the content that we are releasing, as well as challenges, giveaways, uh, contests, and all of this amazing things. Thank you very much, my friends, for your support. And I'll see you back on the next video.